Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an amazing extension which will help you making array objects in SketchUp with memory copy. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. Now memory copy is an extension which works only with components. It helps you move or rotate a copy into desired position. Now some of you will say that you can array objects without extensions by making multiple copies. For example, if we take this particular object, copy the object and place to a particular corner and add the number of copy required. Notice in this case, we get the array, but we are only able to work in a single direction when we copy objects. Now let us see what memory copy can do. Again, taking the same object, this time I am rotating the object and making a copy along and now we will just increase the height as per the requirement to repeat the process we'll just click on the initial object and click on plate again after that select the copied object this way you can repeat the process now what this extension did is it memorized the step and it did plate the step again and again till we click on the object as you can see we got this spiral arrangement of boxes using single step. To explain it more, we take the second example. Make sure your objects are in components. In this way, we make a copy and slightly rotate the object. Let's also increase the height a bit. Click on plate again. Select the second object and click on multiple times to achieve the required result as we got the small height angular type staircase. This example is to explain the extension, not how to make spiral or curve staircase. If you guys need a video dedicated to spiral or curve staircase, you can comment down and let us know. So moving further to our third example in this, I have made this rectangular hollow frame, which again is a component and has some sort of thickness. Now what we'll do is we'll just make a copy of the frame and try to rotate it through center. Right. Okay looks fine let's play it again and see what we can get this time so you can see we get this really nice repetitive pattern with these frames you try making anything using this extension there's a benefit using this extension that it allows not just to array objects but also allows to play with scale of the object you can try making different and creative pattern or objects using this and you also have the benefit to make some changes when you work with components if you know the difference between group and components, then comment yes. If you're not aware, then comment no. We'll try to make a dedicated video for that too. Let's try some more pattern or exercise. This time I'm making a random shape and try to rotate it. Let's do it in this way and plate again. And this seems to look like a flower or something near to it. Yeah. Okay. We can make some changes in this, for example, enter the group and try to make a curve somewhere let it be here somewhere and push pull the surface you can also apply any material should we curve this um no let's just keep it that way now make this a component and play it again you get this beautiful shape you can easily make a gate entrance with this. Let's make a rectangle and place it over a surface. Play it again and make this kind of scenario. Now select all of them and move downward where you get a clear pathway. Make sure the base is a component and you can explore the rectangular shapes. Now in order to cut down the lower part of the objects, select the base and objects and right click. Go to intersect faces and then click on intersect with selection now hide the base you can clearly see these two lines which were created with the intersection of the base and the objects simply select the lower objects and delete them after then click on edit then unhide there you go apply material of your choice and make your own versions that's all for today let us know if you like the video comment if you learned something new and subscribe if you're new to the channel